Senator, I'm looking at this, and there's two things that I'm thinking about, and I want your, your take on. Number one, do you agree with me that a new axis of evil is being formed right before our eyes? And number two, do you believe that history repeats itself? Sean, I do agree with you that, that access of evil, increasingly centered on Beijing, as you laid out, is emerging. It's emerging in large part because of President Joe Biden's weakness and his tendency to blame America and our allies first. And of course, history can repeat itself. We're no different from those who fought in World War II or World War I or our Civil War, the Revolutionary War, who we read about in the Bible because human nature is timeless and unchanging. Therefore, we are prone to the same mistakes if we don't learn from the lessons of history. And that's what Joe Biden has not done. Almost every instance you laid out there is a result of Joe Biden's incompetence, his weakness, and his tendency to blame America first. Look at the president of Brazil. Uh, he's left wing. He's critical, if not openly hostile to America. He's kind of typical of many left wing leaders that have come to power in recent years of Latin America. Joe Biden doesn't say a word negative about them. And what happens? You have them running off to Beijing or welcoming Iranian warships in Latin America. That all gets back to the fact that they think they can get away with actions that are unfriendly or openly hostile to America under President Biden. What do you, what do you make of this, these new alliances? For example, China and Russia. Uh, what do you make about China, Russia, and Iran? What do you make of Ch the Chinese brokering a deal with our former ally, as far as I'm concerned, Saudi Arabia and Iran? I never thought I'd see that. Uh, or Egypt helping out Putin, or the UAE now helping out Putin. Do you believe that our allies, these defections, th that these countries are making a choice and they they are betting that China is going to outpace the United States and overtake the US as the world's you know leader uh, and be the sole superpower if you will of the world I think increasingly you're seeing many traditional American partners and allies hedging their bets because they're worried about American resolve and strength under President Biden you mentioned several Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Israel, you know, we left President Trump. We had peace agreements brokered by America between Israel and its Arab neighbors. We were hoping for an American peace deal brokered between Israel and Saudi Arabia. What we got is a Chinese agreement between Iran and Saudi Arabia. And again, what you see is President Biden creating daylight, as he sometimes says, or President Obama used to say, or, or criticizing the governments of Israel and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates threatening, for instance, to make Saudi Arabia a pariah. All these countries live in a tough neighborhood. They have security needs. America has long helped them achieve those security objectives. If we're not going to do it, it, they're not going to go away. They're going to look elsewhere. And that's increasingly why you see China playing a role in the Middle East that is unhelpful and harmful to American interests. Senator, last question. Almost daily now, the Communist Chinese, they are threatening us directly. They are threatening our Navy in the Straits of Taiwan uh, or the South China Sea, uh, international waterways. What, what should the U.S. response be to that? Well, every time China, or for that matter, Russia or Iran, threatens our Navy or our aircraft, saying they can't sail here, they can't fly there, we should basically make that our new route that we're going to travel, to show China and Russia and Iran that they can't bully us. More okay. on the long-term front, we have to significantly increase our defense spending and invest in the kinds of weapons and aircraft and ships that are going to deter China and Russia and Iran and make it clear to them that not only we have the resolve to defend our interests, but we have the ability to do so as well. Uh, Senator Cotton, great to have you. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.